111,517 International Solidarity Movement Nablus team Israeli settlers of Yitzhar set fires in two places, in Palestinian olive fields around their illegal outposts, and attacked a group of farmers a day later, under the eyes of around 30 border police present at the site. Edited for the IMEMC by CHRIS at IMEMC.org, photo attacked in 2016. No sign of life a year later. On Sunday, the 5th of November, at about 10 o'clock in the morning, is a activist saw smoke coming from olive fields on both hillsides, underneath an outpost of Yitzhar, the illegal settlement south of Nablus, built on the hill between the Palestinian villages Huera and Buran. It wasn't the first time this has happened. Since the expropriation of the farmland of Huera, Buran and Madama, and the illegal creation and steady expansion of the Israeli settlement, Yitzhar, violent settlers do anything they can to harm the Palestinian farmers and families, without any risk of being punished for these crimes. A farmer from Buran, whose olive field was set on fire, explained to us that the settler group chased him and his two companions and that they managed to escape. The Palestinian Fire Brigade of Buran waited for permission from the Israeli Authority to extinguish the fire, which they apparently did not get. Israel is authoritative for the security in AREAC, and should, instead of blocking the Palestinian Fire Brigade, fight any fire in AREAC themselves, which it has not done in the 25 years since this authority was agreed on, in the Oslo Accords. Instead of this, we saw border police, settler security and the settlers side by side, in the illegal hilltop outpost, looking at the burning fields. The next day, the 6th of November 2017, at 8.30 a.m., a group of nine settlers tried to attack farmers and workers who had official permission of the Israeli Security Authority, to harvest and cultivate the fields of the Oda family, which was partly burned down the previous day. The large group of border police refused its entrance to the, the area, which apparently was declared a closed military zone. The commander showed us the declaration on a paper, which didn't show many details. Instead of assisting the farmers, we could only be remotely present and film the situation from a distance. We again witnessed a close cooperation between the settlers, the settler security and the border police. The threat of an instant attack was constantly felt that day. At around 14.30, a group of around 20 settlers attacked the farmers, and most border police did little to avoid it and arrested none of the settlers. Instead, commanded the farmers to stop their work and quickly leave their land. Settlement outposts are illegal, even by Israeli law, although that law may change one day. In February 2017, the Israeli Knesset passed a new law to legalize all 4,000 illegal outposts. But, the High Court had concerns and postponed the implementation in August 2017. However, if that law ever comes to reality, it would accept these 4,000 outposts as new settlements ready to expand, and would give legality to the expropriation of more private Palestinian land, and a clear violation of the Oslo Agreements of 1993. Search IMEMC, Oslo, visit the official website of the International Solidarity Movement ISM.